In international news, centrist candidate Emmanuel Macron has won the French presidential election, easily beating far-right candidate Marine Le Pen. Macron opens a new chapter in France's political history as he's an outsider from neither of the nation's two traditional main parties. Noah Ram has the details. With all the votes counted, the official figures from France's interior ministry show that Emmanuel Macron beat Marine Le Pen by 66% to 34%. Macron, who has never held an elected office, was widely expected to win, but the gap is wider than the 20 or so percentage points that pre-election surveys had pointed to. He will become the country's youngest leader after Napoleon and the first elected president outside France's two main political parties. In his victory speech outside the Louvre, Macron vowed to eliminate the reasons that led some to vote for the country's political extremes, a reference to those who voted for Le Pen. They expressed. Today they expressed some anger, some dismay, and sometimes some beliefs. I respect them, but I will do all I can during the next five years so that no one ever has a reason again to vote for extremes. Meanwhile, the defeated Le Pen thanked her supporters and called for the emergence of a new political force. With this historic and massive result, French people designated the Patriotic and Republican Alliance as the first opposition force to the program of the new president. I call on all patriots to join us to take part in the decisive political fight that is starting tonight. Despite his victory, there is one thorn in Macron's side. His En Marche party has no seats in parliament, something which Macron says is vital to bring about change to France. Our task is huge and it will require us to build, from tomorrow onwards, a real majority, a strong majority. This majority to carry out change is what the country is hoping for and what the country deserves. This majority to carry out change is what I expect from you in six weeks' time because I will need you again and again. General elections will take place on June 11th and 18th and on Marche may have to seek a coalition in order to implement Macron's policies, which consist of a business-friendly EU and loosened borders. Some political parties had backed Macron's campaign, but it was mostly due to their wish to defeat Le Pen's anti-EU and anti-immigration policies. Noaram, Arirang News.